Now here we have a red car coming up Buena Hills as I'm going down Buena Hills. Is this what they do in government gang stalking? Yes. Now, does this program make any sense at all? They've been gang stalking me for eight years. Do they think that gang stalking would at all affect the person of principle with a solid sense of self? People like that we saw in the women's movement when they tried during COINTELPRO to stop the women's movement. Say hello to that red car. People like Martin Luther King, a man of great principle, who they tried actually to get to commit suicide during COINTELPRO. No, it's not going to affect those people at all. But what it can do is be a trigger. In other words, we had the church committee during COINTELPRO, which tried to institute reforms, many of which were not passed. Um, to stop this program once and for all, which threatens the democratic way of life, uh, didn't work. And the reason is that the two components, the two issues that cause COINTELPRO, that cause government gang stalking are ego and emotion. And they were personified in a man called Dick Cheney, and take a look at this uh, intersection where you have a red car at the corner. This is where the next place where we get gang stalking. Just let you see it out there because my windshield might be dirty. Um, so this program, and I never say individuals are gang stalkers. Take a look at the other red. Now, uh, what they try to do is make you feel powerless because this is a program of domination and control. Who has a program of domination and control? People who feel weak. People who are afraid all the time. The neoconservatives feel weak. They are afraid all the time. They live by illusion. Uh, America is an exceptional country. Uh, that's what people who have inferiority complexes do. They build up. They build up these illusory narratives. Uh, so that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with people who can't cope with reality, who aren't in reality, who aren't realistic. And how do we fix this? We use an objective form of decision making, which takes into account what the world is, which is a whole, uh, an interrelated whole. That's what systems thinking does. That's how we change the world, people. We go from linear thinking of the neoconservatives, and you can see all the disaster it has caused, to systems thinking.